Hello and welcome to a demo of Batfish Enterprise. My name is Ratsul and I will show you how you can reveal the full security posture of your cloud network without sending a single packet. Now evaluating the security posture of cloud networks such as AWS, Microsoft Azure and GCP can be tricky. At any given time, the security posture depends on the configuration and interconnection of many individual components such as network ACLs, security groups, routing tables, load balancers, internet gateways, and so on. Additionally, the configuration of these devices evolves rapidly and changes are made in a distributed manner by different teams. Methods like pen testing can help to some extent but do not perform well in cloud environments. Often, cloud networks such as AWS prohibit techniques like port flooding used by these tools. Even if they were not prohibited, testing all possible ports and sources is not feasible with tools that rely on sending traffic. Batfish Enterprise makes it trivial to get a comprehensive view of network security. You can evaluate all possible ports from any vantage point and even go past things like load balancers and NATs. And all of this is without ever needing to log into instances or sending a single packet. Let me show you how. This is the Batfish Enterprise dashboard. It visualizes your entire cloud topology so you can easily understand how resources are interconnected. My deployment is spread across two regions, one in the east here and one in the west. Each region has multiple VPCs that belong to different business groups in the company. Intra-region connectivity uses transit gateways like here and here and connectivity across regions uses VPC peering links. Uh, this deployment also has load balancers and NAT as well as the internet gateways for connectivity to the internet. The combined impact of everything that you see here on the security of the network is difficult to gauge even in this small network. The configuration of AWS deployment is automatically retrieved and visualized by Batfish. Batfish also archives your past configurations so you can evaluate the historical security posture as well. To evaluate the security posture of a network, we will use the Nmap capability of Batfish by clicking here. By default, Nmap runs from internet as a source, but as I will show you, you can use any source in the network. What we see here is all the ports that are accessible on any instance in the network from the internet. So we see here that no UDP port is accessible. ICMP echo is permitted in the region US West, but not in East, as well as some TCP ports are open. On the US West region, ports only SSH and HTTP are open. And on US East region, we see SSH, HTTP, HTTPS are open. But surprisingly, we also see this funny looking port here, 33066, which we don't know why it's open. But we can dig deeper by clicking here, and we see that it's open in this subnet, public HR East, and not in the other subnet. So we can go deeper. And we see that this port is open on an instance called PubWeb1 HR East. To understand what the heck is happening, we can click on this link. What that did was run a traceroute from the internet to the destination where that port was open. What Batfish traceroute shows you is all the nodes along the path and which network ACLs and security groups were hit along the way. So for instance, at the subnet router, we see that the packet entered the router and then went through this filter. So we'll recognize that this is our network ACL and it is permitting the packet. So this is expected because in our network, network ACLs are relatively open. What is unexpected, however, is that the security group at the server is letting this packet in. So we click here. Again, we go to the filter step and we see that the security group is permitting the packet. Now, if you wanted to understand why that is happening, we can click on this link. What this is showing us is a detailed view of how that packet was processed at the security group at the server. And the result is here. And we see that the rule that matched is this one temporary backdoor for testing connectivity. So it seems like somebody opened up this port on the server, but perhaps left it open after they were done testing. Now, such a specific vulnerability would be almost impossible to find using a pen testing tool. You will have to get really lucky for the tool to evaluate an odd looking port like this one. Unlike traditional pen testing tools, Batfish can also look past load balancers and NATs. Let me show you what I mean. So we run this again. If you keep going here, go to the WebHR and WebHR1 East and we run this trace route. So this will again show us all the nodes encountered along the path. And what we see here is that packets from internet to this IP address in our, in our network go past the load balancer. Batfish recognizes that this server is accessible from the internet if packets were sent to this IP and this port. 
Now this IP happens to be the public IP of the load balancer but Batfish analysis knows that if such packets were sent they would go past the load balancer and onto the server. Batfish can let you evaluate security not just with respect to internet but with respect to any source in your network. To show that here's what I'm going to do. Replace the source internet with another instance in my network called test IT West. If I replace that and run what you see is a complete security posture with respect to that instance. So what we see here is that this particular instance can reach the internet but inside my AWS network it has access to all of these ports. Now this may or may not be desirable that depends on the network's policy but what Batfish can do for you is to reveal all the resources accessible from any source to any destination in your network. Thanks for watching this Batfish Enterprise demo. In this video I showed you how Batfish Enterprise lets you comprehensively evaluate the security posture of your cloud network. It will uncover any open port from any source in your network or outside of it. What is more, it does that without ever needing you to log into instances or sending a single packet in the network. Want to see this in action in your own infrastructure? Get your free trial of Batfish Enterprise at the URL here. Goodbye now.